Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101, and today we're gonna to show you how I get my water from my rain barrels to the raised beds. One of the components I have for transferring the water from the rain barrels is the drumming 1 10th horsepower non-submersible transfer pump. What we're gonna be doing is we're using this pump to take the water from the rain barrel, which we have a hose attached with that will go from one end to another. Then we'll go into our hose reel, which I will put a link in the description of a video I've already did that that's attached to this, it will stretch the hose over to our soaker hose, which is gonna be using to water our plants. Um, I did a lot of trying to see what type of uh, pump I wanted to use, and some of the ones you had to prime at, and some of the ones you didn't, but I think this is right. I did some testing with this, and my wife agrees that with this, the horsepower, the pushing the water out, I'm gonna be kind of saving water on that and I don't have to worry about priming it. So that was one good reason I got this. And um, I got this on sale at Harbor Freight. I don't remember the price, but it wasn't the full price. I had the 20% off and they had another sale going on. But in this box that you have, it comes with you, is you get the instructions I actually have off to the side here. You get the pump itself with this handle and you have the ends and it, it, when we, you focus in on it, it tells you where the hose from one to the other goes. So that's very kind of nice that they do that for you. And it has mountain brackets. So if you wanted to mount this to something outside, or if I got like another plastic container, I probably could mount that to keep this out of the element. Then too, this is a kind of like a vacuum sucker for it, um, for like little puddles and stuff. So this does come with a smaller hose that I'm actually already using that I already have it attached up outside ready to go but the test runs that we did with this with from the rain barrel to everything else that you're going to see in a, in a few minutes it's going to work good and this doesn't produce a lot of noise so if you had to do this early in the morning at like eight nine o'clock you're really not going to probably notice anything it's almost maybe lower than a weed whacker the electric one so now what we're going to do is we're going to take you outside get everything hooked up and we're going to show you what this can do all right guys we have everything hooked up trying to streamline this so this isn't going to be a long video but as you can see we have the rain barrel already attached up to one of the hose and this is kind of the hose that you get with um, the transfer water pump so when we kind of transfer over everything's pretty much hooked up but the cord and we'll get into that in a second so the rain barrel goes to the transfer pump water comes through here into the hose reel as you've seen in the in another video like i said it'll be in the description so if you haven't seen this check this out and we have a lot of extra hose too and then you'll see it running all the way over to where our raised beds are so now the one thing we have to do before we uh, plug this in is you kind of have to prime it in a way which is pretty much opening the rain barrel nozzle down there letting the water kind of uh, flow through. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in right now. We're using an extension cord. I don't have the solar kit hooked up just yet, but we're gonna, you know, that's coming up in a future video. But now everything's ready to go, everything's attached. So here we go. So now the water is running. You know, so it's a little bit of a, run, a long run like I was telling everyone about it. And from the, some of the test runs we've done, it will take a while for this water to get over there. But you will see, as you can see, water is starting to come out of the tube. And it's slowly starting to do, you know, so you just have to adjust it. Now, I don't have anything planted just yet, but we are just showing you how this is kind of gets set up to do it. So... If you actually come over here, you can see the water is uh, shooting out at a good pace. And you can see it's soaking out of this. And as yes, that's my dogs. But as you can see, this is pumping out good water. And this is kind of how we're going to have this set up. Now, we did cut some um, hose off of this to make this fit. But I think in the end, this section actually might probably come back over here all right guys as you can see it's starting to pool here but this is the lower one this is where the potatoes are going to be so we're going to be slowly raising this up so if you can see here it's water's coming out and it's coming out nice and smooth and if we go to the other rain box here as you can see you know it's some adjustments in that you're going to get we're going to get the water so like 
once we actually officially get this going, we'll be ready to rock and roll. This is gonna push out water. So we're back at the pump, which we're gonna shut it off for you right now. You know, it's not that loud, but when we pan over to the rain barrels, this is pretty much, just shut this off so I'm not losing any more water. These are pretty much full because we've gotten so much rain. You know, I think I maybe burned through maybe five to six gallons, it's not bad. Now, the one thing we have to watch out for is we have to retract the hose in. So what we're gonna do is get that prep ready to go so you can see how we're gonna do it now. So now we're gonna take you through the process of now retracting the hose from everything that we did. I've already unhooked the hose by the raised beds back up to the nozzle. And then the one thing we haven't done yet, which we're gonna be doing next, is taking this hose drilling a hose in here and sticking that right in there so we won't lose any water because I didn't do that because I wanted to show you guys how much water we kind of lose when we're actually retracting it so everything's turned on ready to go the only thing I haven't done is over here is hit the the rewind button I want to give it a second to build up the pressure in that then So as you can see, with the hose coming out, you see we're losing water. And even though it's, we're losing water, that's why it's gonna go back in the rain barrel, back up there. So it's not that big of a deal. But as you can see back over here, it is slowly winding the hose up, which we're gonna end up taking it back in there. So it's gonna make this easy. So. You know, we're going to be fine tuning it and making it going to be easier than that, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to end the video right here. So if you guys have any comments or questions or maybe something you think I should do better, put that right down in all the comment section below. And if you haven't hit that like button, if you can, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We will catch you guys down the road.